pair of Alco locomotives which are older than EMD in technology and power has such a powerful acceleration. While Alcos might seem technologically outdated, they can still exhibit impressive acceleration due to two reasons, combined traction power or multiple units. When two or more Alco locomotives are coupled together in multiple unit mode or MU formation, their combined traction power increases significantly. This effectively multiplies their pulling and accelerating capabilities. In our case, WDG3 Alco as a single unit has 3100 horsepower. When in mu formation, it is 3100 into 2, that would be 6200 horsepower. Whereas a single EMD has only 4000 horsepower, hence it couldn't win over the twin Alcos. Second is Loco Pilot Notching Skill. The Loco Pilot skill in rapidly and precisely adjusting the power output through the locomotive's controller known as notching plays a crucial role. This gradually increases the voltage and current supplied to the traction motors, resulting in increased torque and acceleration. In essence, the combination of multiple units, optimized power output and skilled piloting can enable Alco locomotives to deliver surprising acceleration even when compared to newer, more powerful models such as EMDs. But what if two EMD locos are combined? then the two coupled EMD locomotives would outperform the two coupled Alco locomotives in terms of acceleration, top speed and overall hauling capacity. This is due to the fact that higher horsepower output and improved efficiency of EMD MU formed locomotives. As a single EMD locomotive WDP4 has 4000 horsepower, in MU formation total horsepower output would be 4000 into 2 that would be 8000 horsepower, surpassing the 6200 horsepower of twin Alco formation. That's why Indian Railways nowadays is using EMD locomotives more than Alco locomotives. But sadly, even EMD locos are being phased out to pay with electric locomotives. EMDs are better than Alcos, but they still run on diesel and Railways is moving towards greener world by electrifying all the broad gauge rail routes in India. Today in 2025, Indian Railways is 97% electrified on its route. EMDs are used only for few freight trains and few passenger trains on routes where electrification is yet to be completed. Alcos are completely phased out from mainline, many are scrapped and the Alcos which are still having good coda life are used for shunting or in departmental works. We'll soon make another detailed video on EMD versus Alcomotive types and uses in Indian Railways. Till then stay tuned and keep supporting your friend Sarvesh for more such informative content along with rail planning. Bye bye, take care.